This tutorial will show you how to site a website using Noodle Tools. Remember, there are many different types of websites out there, so be sure you're evaluating the accuracy of the content found on each of the sites that you plan to use before proceeding. Here is an example of a site that I've chosen. This is from the New York Times. It's an article that I'd like to use for my English project. To begin, you must first have an open project. Please watch the Creating and Sharing a Project tutorial if you need assistance getting started with that. Once you have an open project, click on it to be brought to the dashboard. Then click on the Sources tab and the green button which says Create New Citation. Then pick Website. A menu will pop up asking you what it is that you would like to cite. I suggest that you examine this menu thoroughly to determine the most relevant selection for your particular project. Once you have determined that a web page is what you need, click Web Page to open up the Citation tool. The first thing we are going to enter is the URL. You can do this by copying it from the search bar and pasting it here. Next up is the date of publication. Go back to your web page article and scan through for the date. Mine is up at the very top right here. I'm going to plug that date in here. If you click this button, it will input today's date. Then I will fill in the author's name, double checking to ensure that I've spelled it correctly. If your source happens to have multiple authors or contributors, you would click this Add Another Contributor button. As you may have noticed, these little informative prompts pop up to guide you and offer additional help should you need it. Next, I will enter the article title, followed by the name of the website, which in my case is the New York Times. And then finally, the publisher of the site, which can typically be found at the bottom of the web page. Mine is, of course, the New York Times, and this little prompt here is letting me know that I do not need to include this information since it is repetitive. Once you have double checked that all of the information is accurate, click Submit. However, if you are creating an annotated bibliography, you would follow the instructions here, or click this built-in help link for more information. You'll see that your web page article has been alphabetically added to your Works Cited page. And that's it. Tune in next time when I explore citing from JSTOR. And as always, if you have any questions or need assistance, please stop by the LMC.